You want ants? Because that's how you get ants. Welcome back to Engines and Unfinished Business. Today I'm going to be rebuilding the oil pump. Now, I managed to forget the camera at home, and I'm sure as shit not going to drive home and get it, so today will be filmed on my phone, so footage might be a bit shitter than usual, or about the same, because footage never that great anyway, but bear with me. Now, before I get started rebuilding the oil pump, I just want to check the main crank seals for leaks. As I've not noticed any oil dripping from them, now would be the best time to replace them if they do need it with the engine out. So, I'm just going to take this pulley off. Let's have a look around here. Oh, yeah, there's a bit of weepage there. So that one might need replacing. Don't know how well you can see on the camera, but the rear main seal looks fine. Um, just gonna replace the front one. Might order a rear one as well, just to, while I'm here. But I can definitely change the one on the front. Just gonna take this all apart so I can Clean it all off, including all the bolts, just get all the old oil and crap off there before putting it back together with the new seals. cleaned up and degreased. It's not perfect, but it's looking a hell of a lot better than it did. Next up is to get the oil seal in. And of course, the service manual says you need a special tool to tap this in. So I've just found a socket that's roughly the right size. It's the worst that can happen. And tap it in. That all looks pretty level now. I don't know how you can see, but it's all level all the way around. And the nut. And as you talk that up. There we go. So now, ready to put the pump back on the car. First up, I've got to try and figure out which way around this goes, and it appears to be like so. Yep, that's it. That's been one of those things where it's really hard to keep it in place. This is probably why you're supposed to do this with the oil pump off the car entirely. This is, you know, this is never going to work. Oh, fuck balls. <sighs> one step forward, three steps back, every time. So I don't think there's going to be a way to get the oil pump face back on and keep the o-ring in place um, like this so I might actually go back to the original plan which was taking the sump off which will allow us to take the whole oil pump off and do it on the bench and the reason for that is although the oil pump seems to be leaking the first theory may also have been correct as on closer inspection now I've removed some parts it does look like the oil pan was leaking too, and we've got the, the um, sealant for it, so we may as well do it. Um, but don't have time to do that today, so that's going to be it. I did, however, on the advice of you lovely people, phone around about four different machine shops till I found one who said they might be able to resurface this flywheel. Um, so now I'm just going to take that over there and see what they think, see if it can be done, and for how much. So, back in the workshop, and I have good news, we finally managed to get a gearbox. It's in the car, just to go and bring it in. And here it is, fresh gearbox. This one came out of a wrecked 1992 with I think about 90,000 miles. It was only front end damage, so engine everything was fine. Uh, came from a, a fairly local breaker, so has a uh, two month warranty. And only cost us uh, £150, it's less than an hour away, so all in all pretty good. The really cool thing about the gearbox is ever since we set up our Patreon account we've just ignored it, we've not touched it. And so we found this gearbox on eBay and we had about £130 in our Patreon. So we transferred that out and used it to pay for most of the gearbox. 
So essentially, you lovely Petrinas have bought Misty a gearbox. So thank you so much. Another good thing about this gearbox, it comes with the rear mount. You know that one that I spent an entire episode trying to get the broken bolt out of it? Turns out I didn't need to because we've got this. So that's enough gearbox stuff for now. Time to get back onto the engine. But before I do, I just want to talk about the ongoing saga of the radiator drain plugs. Um, I jacked the front end of Misty up and had a look and all the threads looked fine. I couldn't see any issues with that. And then I compared the plugs and noticed that the new one had a coarser thread pitch. So clearly it was the wrong plug. Went back to Toyota, showed it to them, and after a bit of back and forth, they said to me, is there any chance that the cars had a new radiator at any time that wasn't an official Toyota one? And yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. It, she had, I knew about it because, like I said on the first episode, she came with a thick wad of, of um, documentation. I went through all of that back then and saw, I think it was about 70,000 miles or something, new radiator. That's uh, another day's problem for now. Gonna take the sump off the engine. So, just gotta remove all these bolts and a couple of nuts from underneath here, which are probably, yep, 10 mil. Everything's 10 mil, it's always 10 mil. But that's the easy bit. Apparently then, I've got to um, slice out the old sealant. In case you're wondering why I don't flip the engine over to make this easier, it's because with everything still on the engine, it doesn't clear the frame of the engine stand. So short of removing a whole bunch of crap from the top end, it just seems easier to do it upside down. A decision I may regret later, but we'll see. I don't know how well you can see this on camera, but I have a feeling the oil pan has been off before because on top of the bolts you can see some of the sealant has come through and you're supposed to apply the sealant in a way that goes around the bolt holes rather than over it. So I'm pretty sure in the factory it would have been put correct. So that's all the bolts and nuts out of the uh, oil pan and annoyingly every single bolt had some of this. I don't know how it'll come out, this is a good example. The, uh, the sealant goo all up in the threads, so you can see it's just like a blob of it on top there and then it's all in the threads, so I'm going to have to clean up all these bolts before we can reuse them. So now I need to cut through all this old sealant to get the oil pan off, and Toyota of course recommends our own special tool. I have this, which is, as some of you may remember, a blade in a piece of wood, which I created to split the gearbox. It worked for that, so maybe it'll work for this too. <laughs> Maybe that's why you use a Toyota tool and not your own homemade one. I need to extract the blade. I mean, I know I'm by no means a good mechanic, but this stuff looks like Stevie Wonder did it. Of course, now I've said that, when it comes to reapplying, I'm gonna have to do a really good job, or it's gonna make me look stupid, isn't it? But then I'm pretty used to looking stupid. So I found quite an interesting technique with this that I thought I'd share. So I got the blade stuck in as usual, and what I've done is grabbed one end, and I've got a little bit of the blade sticking out there, so the point is actually here, not inside. So I can grab this end with the pliers to try and keep it that way, and then just give it a little tap, tap, tap with the hammer. I should probably use a different hammer for this, and it's just slicing through the sealant as it goes. So I've cut through the sealant on about half the oil pan from around here, all the way around the front. Sorry for my terrible camera work right around to where the blade is now. Uh, the exhaust manifold and some other bits are gonna make life a bit more complicated from this point onwards, but also I've run out of time for today. So that's it, I'm afraid. I feel like these last few episodes have been a lot of getting nothing done, very much one step forward, three steps back. But fear not, from next episode onwards, things are gonna be all change, and it's gonna be, hopefully, really interesting. Um, won't say anything more for now, but be sure to come back then. As always, thanks for watching, and huge thank you to our Patriners, patrons, you know who you are, you bought our gearbox and we're eternally grateful. Until then, see you next time.